Okay, now for something completely different. I'm going to show you a baseline, uh, some metal, which isn't normally what I play, but I've been asked to uh, give a tutorial on Black Label Society. Not normally my kind of thing, but um, it's actually been really fun working this out. And the track is trampled down below. So first thing to know is this is a drop C sharp tuning. Now, what I reckon they've done is instead of just drop uh, the E string to a C sharp, they've tuned the whole bass and guitars down a minor third, essentially. So if I um, if I tune back my G string and the, I'm not using the G string in this, so the G string is still the same tuning. <laughs> I'll leave the D. So, so if I wanted to tune by ear to, to C sharp, I'm going to play the C sharp here on the fourth fret of the A string, and then I'm going to play the E and tune down using my ear. And you kind of wait for the for the wave to, to equalize. So if you're hearing a warm, warm, that's out. So you can hear it's flat. It's often easier to go from flat up with your ear than from sh when it's sharp. It's harder to figure it out. And then the A would tune to the F sharp. Okay, so now the bass. Now your strings are going to be a lot looser now. So if, if you're into this kind of thing and you've, you've not really done any drop tuning, you might want to raise your action so the, the strings are slightly higher off and you're not going to be all too. This has got a fairly high action and then you need nice thick strings. Okay, so straight to the bass line. The, um, the intro is, and this is a, a, a theme current throughout the song. If we play the um i'm going to call it the e string okay just because it's too confusing otherwise play the open e open c sharp now we're going to hammer from the fifth fret to the seventh fret on what was the a string which is now the f sharp string so it's a hammer and then another note Now we're going to do three hammer-ons uh, and they're all fifth fret to seventh fret. Okay, so the, 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 the one after is, um, you could play it like this. Uh, second fret to open second fret to open third fret to fifth fret I prefer backwards seven five seven five three five so I'm gonna hit 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 so the the right hand plays three hits one two three so that's the intro, I'll play it. I'm, when I'm playing this, I, I don't know if the bass player's doing it, he might not be, but I like putting a bit of vibrato on the... Okay, I'll play that very slowly. One, two, three, four.
Okay. So, right. It then plays this. It has a break and then... Okay, I'll show you that. So now the verse bass line, I'm pretty sure that it's a lot of these bands that you can hear the bass at the beginning and then you can't really hear the bass afterwards. The guitars are so loud. So, and I'm presuming that the bass player is following the guitar part. So we've got the same rhythm. Okay, now we're going to play a slightly different riff. Now this is a very bluesy riff. Yeah, if we looked at it like this, if you think of a blues scale, just tune this. Okay, a blues scale. Okay, so these riffs are very much in the blues scale. You do a this, you do a flat five to fourth to the first. I look actually I'll do the blues scale like this. So you've got the one, the minor third, the fourth, the flat five, the fifth. We're not going to use anymore. So we play flat five to four, one, three, one. plays the fifth no no sorry the flat seven so if I play that bass line an octave up it's so we've got a second one we just don't play that um because they're they're playing and i'm not sure sort of seven eight or something so we've got the okay and then we're back so to play that an octave low it's going to be this open one is the same we just don't add the the seventh okay now the guitarists are going kind of on the last one So that's the only tricky part, really. Okay, now then it kind of goes, I don't know if it's the chorus. Okay, so we're going to play um, a similar uh, rhythm. Well, but slightly different. I'm just playing it higher up because you can hear it. And then we're going to do more hammer-on, similar. So the same as the other one at the beginning, a hammer. Okay, and then so the set, the, the one before we go back into the 
the kind of main riff is uh, backwards uh, on the D string, seven to five, A string seven to five, E string. Okay, and that's pretty much it, I think. And anyway, well, that's that's all I've worked out. So um, yeah, you've got to be good at hammer-ons. The harder ones are the ones going backwards. Or and um, yeah, pr playing this. Uh, Thank you.